Today, what we are going to do, are you excited for today's class? Those who are, are um, following this page, uh, I have given you a hint about our today's topic. And today's topic is, you can see here, it's writing class, writing class. Um, <sighs> Teacher Jenny, please call my name, Susu Sandy. I'm getting better. My voice is getting huskier, but uh, my condition is not it's not that bad. I'm okay. I'm surviving. I have a cold teacher. Oh, don't be sick, you guys. <laughs> don't be sick. So in Korea, the weather is like really super, super cold and windy and at um night and it's getting warm in the daytime. So it's like the perfect, perfect condition to get a cold. So that's how I got my colds and I was sick. So yes. Advanced happy birthday on me. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello from Saudi. 사랑해. I love you too. <laughs> yes, so this uniform is just um a continuous uh, April Fool's. <laughs> I just thought it would be kind of funny to dress up as my uh, middle school uniform and do class today. So hope you guys don't mind. I might take off this jacket because this is my uh, middle school uniform. So it's a bit small for me. So I might take it off in class. So hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> so yes, I'm ready for the class. Yuan Wang Zhang. Well, Thank you, thank you all for coming back and it's really good to be back and today what we're going to do is something fun and something different. I don't have any papers with me today. It's interesting to see me without papers since like paper and Jenny was like a symbol, symbol thing but I don't have any papers with me but today I have the screen. <laughs> I have the screen, screen like be beside me and what this is, this is uh showing my phone and we are going to uh, learn how to write Korean and writing class was one of the most requested um, classes. Yes, so today we are... <laughs> I look like a Harry Potter character. <laughs> Yes, yes. So today we are going to do some writing class. Uh, many of you guys have requested this class so many, so many times and I have been waiting for the right chance and right method to teach you guys and I think I found a pretty nice way to teach. So I hope you guys are all excited. Today's topic is not a particular topic, but we are going to learn how to write Hangul, the Korean alphabet and the Korean writing. And young teachers and you from Seppo Philippines. How are Miss today? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. So once again, uh, today's topic is how to write Korean, how to write the Korean alphabet Hangul. And you can see, uh, you can see uh, my Instagram my account is Jenny Lee, K Jenny Lee 407. <laughs> so everybody ready for today's uh, writing class? Everybody ready for today's writing class? Uh, many of you, many of you guys, um, told me like they need writing class because they felt like they were drawing instead of writing. <laughs> what time is the next? Every every Sunday, ten p.m. KST Korean time. <laughs> So today, if you finish the class, so everybody who are here, finish the class with me. We're going to have a really, really easy and fun Korean writing class. And you can learn how to actually write Korean instead of drawing it. Because if you don't know how to write in Korean, it will be more of you doodling and doing some drawings instead of writing them. Do you guys all agree? <laughs> Do you guys all agree? Okay, so uh, what we have here is I there's a uh, whoops it's this side uh, there's a screen and this is my phone and I looked up on Android and this is an application only uh, usable in Android. I'm sorry for iOS uh, Apple, but I have this um I found this application and it's called Tanbi D A N B I and you can uh there's a link for this application Tanbi and it's in the comment below. It's for download app Tanbi on Android Play Store for writing class. So you can use this uh, application after class and you can practice on your own writing your Korean. All excited? 
Writing Hangul is easy. Can you actually write it and write, um, uh, write, like, like what to write first? Do you know what, what to, which line to do first? The correct method? No, you don't, you just, just for today, you can just watch me write it, but after the class, you are highly recommended because to practice on your own. You can download the app and you can practice on your own, and that really helps in uh, learning and memorizing the Korean. Exactly. For iOS Apple recommendations, I'll look more in through the Apple Store, and if there's a good one, maybe I'll recommend it. I don't have one right now, but today we're going to work with um, Android Tanbi, and this application was pretty cool. And yay, downloaded actually. That's cool, Maria. Good job. <laughs> so everybody, um, after class, I'll download this, or right now you can just download this application called Tanbi. The link is below in the description box and what was cool is that you know um the girl idol fx uh one of their girl members runa 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 uh this she and chingu chingu and other celebrities in korea they wrote this uh korean hunger and this all these writing the all these writing really uh, are the real writing of the Korean celebrity idols. So this this was pretty cool to really just like follow how the Korean idols and celebrities and Chingu Oppa how really writes Korean. So that was kind of uh, interesting because I know that you guys are all into K-pop and like K-drama where your oppas write it. So this was really cool to actually kind of know how other people write it and especially your oppas and like those FX idols and I I'm a fan. I'm I'm not like a huge fan, but I'm still a fan. It was really kind of cool to know how they they wrote Korean, and it was kind of cool to compare how it was different from my writing and their writing. <laughs> yes, Runa, Runa, FX FX member Runa and Chingu, Chingu, Chingu. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. Writing Hangul is difficult than reading. Yes, um, Hangul, well, it might be hard, but after this class, you will have a quite of a glimpse of how to write Hangul, so you can, so finish the class. <laughs> Just finish the class, and this will be a pretty easy and, um, easy and relaxed, relaxed class, I think, because it'll be fun, it'll be fun, it'll, it'll be fun. That's what I use. So everybody, uh, the link is down below. If you want to, I recommend you guys, I recommend you guys downloading it because I am not going to go through every constant and every vowel. So what we don't do in class, I highly recommend that you guys practice on your own. Okay. Everybody good? So, so, so once more to, um, brag about my cute little, um, background. This is of a, a fan art that Mike Mike have uh sent me and drew me and this is just lovely. It's just I think it's so cute. <laughs> so thank you, Mike, again for this lovely, lovely fan art and I am using this as my uh phone background. So thank you again. <laughs> and let's start the class, okay? I'm just really excited and nervous at the same time. I don't know because I have um I didn't do class last week. Okay, so let's start. The uh the Android uh application is Tanbi and it looks like this is this little cute thing. So if you press it and the home button is like this. So there are several several steps like step one, step two, step three, four, five, six, and some phonectus and videos and letters and you can see like in letters you can see like what her she wrote, like for the yeah. So this was yeah. <laughs> so, good, good. Ah, I can read Hunger. So, Anna Kuro Alcido, she is telling me that she can read Hunger but still get confused in writing Hunger. So, yes, once again, this was like the most requested videos of writing how to write Hunger. So, finish the class and share it with your friends and really know how to write Hunger. Okay. Can we start? Yes. Can we start? Okay, so let's start the class. I I won't bore you guys anymore. <laughs> so this is um this is the application. So if you go um step one, if, if you go to step one, there are the consonants and there are the vowels. 
So there are the consonants and there are the vowels. And uh, I decided that we are just going to go to step two since it was, I think it'll be better to actually practice how the consonant is written with a vowel. Like you wouldn't just use the consonants on its own instead of like just like for like laughter because uh, every Korean word is uh, combined with a consonant and a vowel. That's like the minimum that's the minute on how it's combined it with a com consonant and a vowel. So I think it will be better for us to practice step two together. All good. All good. All good. <laughs> right on me. So, <laughs> so, uh, for today, for today, we are going to learn how to write the consonant and the vowel. We're not just going to do consonant because that's, I don't think that's kind of good in teaching wise. So let's put the consonant and the vowel. Okay. But for those who are really new to Korean, just like keep in mind that there's several ways how a word is formed in Korean. There's a consonant and a vowel that is a minimum of how what a word would be consistent in. But it could go more than consonant vowel. It could be consonant vowel and consonant and consonant vowel double consonant. And there could be other many other things. So just keep in mind that we on Today, we are just going to learn how to do consonant and vowel, the most basic. And if you know the basics, you can just like surely, surely make it advance and use it in other words. So just practice. Let's practice consonant and vowel. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, no, no thumb for iOS, but I will look through, uh, into the app store and if there's something to recommend for you guys, I will try to find it and recommend it. So please just wait for, wait, wait, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you're ready. So let's start with the consonant. Ka, ka. So you can see that this, there is a consonant called kiok and there's a vowel called a. And today we are going to focus and only try to use the vowel a. So what I'm going to use today is these one, two, three, four, five, six, five, fourteen consonants. I'm not going to do the double consonants. I am going to do these fourteen consonants on its own. And plus with this vowel, this vowel, I'm going to only use this vowel and the fourteen consonants, excluding the fourteen uh, double, uh, excluding the uh, double consonants. Okay. Please wait for a while. Just wait, just wait. It's getting hot. I'm getting hot. Ugh. Just wait with me. I think, I guess I must have uh, done something wrong with the phone because it's not showing anymore. Whoops. Oh, okay, it's back. It's back, it's back. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yes, it's back, so. So, today let's start with the vowel A, ah, and we're only going to do this vowel. So, let's uh, first uh, practice how to write this vowel A. Ah. Ah, okay. We are going to only use this vowel A. Ah. So it's all easy. It's going to be very, very easy. So first of all, let's hear how this sounds. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Did you hear it? Ah. Ah. <laughs> there's a guy and like, there's a woman and they're pronouncing it and it's called A. Ah. A. Ah. A. Ah. A. Ah. One more time. I just really love listening to it. Ah, 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 yes. So this is the sound of this vowel. And let's see how to write it. And if you go to the corner right side, there is how to write it. And the uh, numbering would be one, up to down, and left to right. So it goes, 
<laughs> Everybody's uh, laughing about this now. So number one, the step number one is up to down. And step number two, it says on the screen left to right so this is like the most basic rule of writing korean so if you get ever confused and if you feel like you're right if you're just like drawing korean not actually writing korean then just uh, calm yourself and just think of this magic magic rule of up to down left to right everybody put your hand with me and do this follow me up to bottom left to right everybody up to bottom left to right up to bottom left to right are you are you following me <laughs> do it do it if you feel like you're getting lost in writing korean and you think like you're drawing korean instead of writing it if you feel like you're like doodling and it looks like an alien language alien writing <laughs> from back laid back ancient egypt like ancient uh writing well just think of this like very very um really really simple but very correct rule which is <coughs> i'm sorry which is up to bottom left to right and this is how the vowel is written this is the correct way to write it up down left right up down left right we are we we are we are so we are when that means uh up bottom left right so okay everybody got it so let's try writing it okay Ooh, okay so <laughs> let's try writing it so it, you can you guys can see that in the bottom there are a whole lot of other vowels there's a whole lot of like ugh, ugh. <laughs> there's a whole lot of other vowels but there's too many vowels that we cannot go uh and cover all of them so this is why i am only going to do Ah, the most basic ah 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 this one uh throughout the class so download this app and like, just practice on your own and it's pretty fun let's start okay so the first of all there is the consonant yung which is like a circle Ooh, that's a pretty nice circle you can see that i'm writing it okay you can see that i'm writing it <laughs> yes so this um circle is a consonant yung in korea and why it is all uh, connected and combined with all these vowels is because thus yung it doesn't have a sound so we put all these uh yung consonants with all other vowels just to make uh and practice the vowels so this vowel has the yung uh zero sound and this goes ah and so what was the trick up bottom left right so how would i go up bottom left right and i suck <laughs> oh, oh my god so yeah you shouldn't learn handwriting from me <laughs> well, I, I oops okay so you shouldn't learn handwriting from me but i'm just teaching you how to write it the steps of writing <laughs> oh my god i'm terrible <laughs> i'm terrible I'm terrible. Okay, so let's <laughs> don't write don't don't learn how to write the handwriting. I think these Opas and Luna the FX Idol, she has a better, much prettier handwriting than me. So don't don't learn the handwriting from me. Just learn how to write it. The steps and the steps in writing. So what was it? Up bottom. Up bottom left right. And that would be ah ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> And this is once a reminder to show you the steps of writing the vowel ah. So this will be the base, basic, basic vowel. And we are only going to do this vowel. So, so you shouldn't forget it, right? <laughs> so you don't forget it, okay? We're only going to do this. So this is the only vowel that we're going to study today. So don't forget it. It's simple. Up, bottom, left, right. You, everybody got this, right? Up bottom left right okay so everybody who so raise your hand if you can all do up bottom left right and we are going to move on with the consonants we're not going to do the vowels anymore so uh, if you guys are all ready press the thumbs up button thumbs up button so i can see that you guys are ready and i'll move on to uh, the consonants i'm i'm kind of 
embarrassing myself writing the vowels. <laughs> so press thumbs up so we can move on to the consonants. Let's see the thumbs up. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ready to move on to the consonants? Uh, okay, okay, so you guys are all ready to move on the, to the consonants. So the magic trick about this vowel was up, bottom, left, right, and we're moving on. Okay, so that was that, and let's go to step two. Step two. <laughs> let's start. The app name is, what is the app name, students? What are, what is it? Please help other students if they don't know in the comments it is called Tandi and the link is in uh, below the description box and it is in the link uh, comment and the link is on in the comments yes Tanbi D-A-N-B-I and you can find it on Android Google Play okay so <laughs> let's move on to the consonants Okay, so let's start. Let's start with number one. So I, it's really fun to do it. I've never done kind of this writing class. And this is the first writing class. So I hope you guys are all enjoying it as much as I am. Okay, so let's do it. Up, up, bottom, left, right. <laughs> memorize, right, memorize. Right. Put it in your head. Up, bottom, left, right. Up, bottom, left, right. Okay. So now you can see that there is this plus. What is this? I just suck at it. But what this plus? <laughs> this is it means that the consonant and the vowel are combined. And I told you the basic minimum um consistent of in a word is a consonant and a vowel. So this is the basic form of a word. So you can see that this one is a consonant. And this one is the vowel that we have been practicing for the last five minutes. So you better all know this vowel. It is called ah, ah, with a big mouth, open mouth, ah, ah. Okay? Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. So let's start, let's uh start writing it. Let's start writing it. How to write the consonant kyo? How to write the consonant kyo? Is you go left to right, and what was it? What was the trick? Up, bottom. All good? Let's do that again. Left to right, and up, bottom. How was that? How was that? Left to right, and up, bottom. Left, right, up, bottom. Left, right, up, bottom. Left, right, up, bottom. <laughs> all good, all good. Left, right, up, bottom. And the con and the vowel ah was of course up, bottom, left, right. Up, bottom, left, right. One more time. Up, bottom, left, right. And this is how you write the uh ka ka. And this consonant here has this G-A, K-A, but I would recommend a G-A sound because K-A is too strong for a Korean sound and it would not really seem natural if you pronounce it as K-A. So instead of K-A, Ka, it is G-A, Ka. So let's hear how this sounds. One more time. Ka, 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 ka. So that was that. That was ka, 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 ka. So a lot of you might think that it sounds like a ka, but if you do ka, it is too strong. The sound is too strong. We have done this before. Instead of saying kamsamida, that would make it sound very um not natural in Korean. And instead of saying kamsamida, say Kamsamida with a G and that was saying thank you in Korean. So everybody remember Kamsamida with a G A, not a K A. And the meaning is, well, actually, this is only the basic form of a consonant and a vowel. So a lot of the other uh, written consonant and vowel doesn't have a meaning. But in this case, ka is like just go, go. <laughs> in this case, this word, this one word um, consisting of consonant and a vowel, this has a meaning. But in other cases, a lot of doesn't don't have a meaning. In this case, ka means go. 
go. And if you if you say it like you mean it, if you say it like you mean it, and like in a mad mad voice, like if you say ka ka, it means go get lost, go away. Like yeah, have you seen it in like K K dramas? Ka, it says go, ka ka ka, and if it says if that means like go go in like a rude way, and so it is、uh, implying that you're mad. <laughs> Ka, ka. Ah,、uh, thank you for students who are replying for other students' comments. Yes. Ah,、uh, this Android I just found it on Google Play, so it's only for um Android. So I'm sorry for iOS people, students who are using iOS and Apple. I、um, I'll find a better or I'll find the other app, Korean writing app, to recommend you guys, and I'll I'll look through it and I'll I'll. I'll get to you, okay? I'll 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 find the new one. And you can see that there's other things in the bottom. Other other um, ka with other vowels combined, like ku 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 ki. So like so, download this app and just like try it on your own. Like after class, try it and it will be fun. <laughs> Yes, it's pinned. The the Apple uh the application is pinned down below, and the link is there below. Uh, the app is Tanbi. <laughs> ka ka ka. Okay, so then let's learn how to write the consonant d n d n, and this is n n the n sound n n n n the n sound. So let's go, and we have done this before. It's so easy. Up, down, left, right. One more time, up, down, left, right. Everybody good? Wasn't that easy? Up, down, left, right. It was good, right? Up, down, left, right. And this is how you write the consonant d n d n. And let's combine it, combine it with the vowel a、ah, that we have been practicing. And we're only going to use this vowel. Let's do this. Up, down, left. <laughs> Well, what is this part? Oh my god! <laughs> Why is it crooked? Okay, it's not. It's not supposed to be like that. It was like this, like a straight formed line. <laughs> my handwriting sucks. Oh my god! You shouldn't be learning from me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah,、uh, my handwriting is much better on paper. So just hope you guys all understand. I'm doing this on my phone. So yes,、uh, up, down, left, right, and it says na, and let's hear how it sounds. Na, 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 na. Did you guys hear it? Na, na, and in this case again, it has a meaning, and na means me, 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 na, 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 na. So yeah. It's me, na. <laughs> so in this case, na has a meaning, and it's me, me, na, 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 like myself, myself, oneself, oneself, myself, oneself, me, <laughs> myself, oneself, me. So in this case, na has a meaning of me, oneself, myself. Handwriting is okay. Okay. So one more time, it was. Na na. Okay, and as、uh, you can see, there's other um、uh, cons. There is uh other words combined with a different vowel on the bottom, and you can just like try to write it. Cool. It's hard to use. A... Na 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 na. Okay, then next next one is the uh. T good the consonant T good and let's see this is like a tricky one so I want to show you this first this is how you write it this is how you write it the number one is left to right the number one is left to right you do the top root first and then you make the D at one stroke one stroke you make the na the one that we just did up、uh, this. One stroke by one stroke, so it looks like this. You make the roof left to right, and you do this on one stroke. One stroke. 
one more time, one more time. You write the roof first to left to right, and then you write the bottom part by one stroke, one stroke. So it will look like this. <clears throat> you will write the roof, the top of the、um, consonant, to left to right, and you will make the bottom one on one stroke by just going like this. Two. Two. And this has the sound of a d, d sound, d sound. I told you this has the sound of a d sound. <laughs> oh my God! I have my own way to write it. So, so this is the correct and proper way to write it. This is the correct and proper way to write it. I know that many of you, many of you, just like write it like this. <laughs> or maybe just like write it like this, or maybe other cases, maybe just like write it like this. It's not right. The formal and correct way to write it is you make the roof first to left to right, and then you、uh, have the other stroke by once. So it's not like this all in one stroke. It's not like this, but instead it's it's divided into two strokes. One stroke number one, and then the next stroke two. Everybody practicing it. It's a difficult language. Yes, the app is called Tanbi, so、uh, it's you can find it on a、uh, Google Play, Android Play Store, Android Play Store. So download it and just like play around with it after class. <coughs> I'm sorry. Bless me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My handwriting is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I suck, but you guys say. <laughs> okay, so yes, two step exactly. May pitch, may pitch. So, uh, from now on, really, uh, focusing on your comments. So, uh, I'll focus on your comments and like if you write. Questions about the class that what I am doing. I'll mention mention your comments. Got it. So everybody move on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yes. So shall we move on to the next consonant? And dear, yes. So the dear, the dear. This is a tricky one. This is absolutely tricky. I know that a bunch of you guys are just like. Writing it in the one stroke, like making a snake with it, like like they do, like this, woohoo, like a river, like a river, like 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 this, just like a like a flowing river or like a snake, like a snake, like a snake. I don't know, <laughs> but it's not written like that. And I will teach you the pr proper way to write the consonant. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I have to download it. You download it. It's kind of fun. I'm enjoying this app, and I thought it, I thought you guys would like it, so I kind of brought it up. Good job. So one more time, let's learn how to write this consonant properly. Okay, let's learn how to write it properly. Let's learn how to write this properly. So you can see that it is、uh, on the screen. The stroke is you go one stroke by left, right, up, bottom. That is one stroke by once, one stroke, and then you don't make a continuous stroke, but instead you come back from left to right, left to right, and then you make the final stroke. Really? Okay, so let's try to pra pra practice it. So, so left to right and up down. This is one stroke. This is number one. And what you do is you do left to right. That's number two. That was number two. And then the last third step is like this, like this, like this. How was that? One more time. So this like handwriting is Chingu Oppa's handwriting, Chingu Oppa Chingu's handwriting. So it's kind of like tilted, and he has his unique handwriting. But I'll make it more um straight and not tilted. So 
maybe for easier to you guys to see. So the first stroke was left, right, bottom, up, bottom, like this. And then once you go to left, right, over here. And then the third stroke was this. And this is a proper way to write the consonant, the, the, the L sound or the R sound, the L sound. Hmm. Very inform, import, informative, Jasmine. Thank you. You're, I'm extra funny today. <laughs> Maybe I'm just having a good time and I'm enjoying this app writing it on, like, on the screen and it's pretty fun. I hope you guys are having as much as, as much fun as I am. So, too tough. <laughs> Too tough. <laughs> Le Tan Kin. I have been writing it all wrong all along. Okay. Thank you for the tip. Okay. So one more time. This is for you, Le Tan. This is for you. I'll write it one more time for you. So you go, this is stroke number one. Left, right, up, bottom. And then number two stroke was left to right. And number three stroke, the last one is this. And this is the proper way to write the consonant the many hearts to you guys <laughs> left right up bottom left right up bottom my handwriting is so bad <laughs> please often fold my hair fold my hair do you want me to fold my hair what do you mean by fold my hair Nice handwriting. Is it, it's okay. Okay, so let's move on to the sound. L, L, the L, L sound. And let's go to the consonant B. And I saw on the comment, like right before, uh, he, I think it was you, uh, you wanted me to teach you how to write this consonant. And here we go. And like this, like this simple, it looks like a box. And I know many of you just like draw it like a, just like a box. Like, oh, whoa, this is a box. I, it's easy to write a box, like, or just like this, or like just, or like write it like this. Like, just, whoa, it's a box. It's a box. But <laughs> this is not the correct way to write it. See, like you guys might have a lot of fun just writing, uh, writing this a uh, consonant beam, but there is a correct way to write it, and let's learn the steps together, shall we? Okay, so, so here are here are the steps. So you can see on the screen, you can see that I'm watching the same screen as you are. So the screen goes. The first stroke and everything, you know, like everything when you're writing a consonant, everything starts from left to right. Every consonant that you write or every every vowel that you write, everything starts from left to right. So as you can see, is the stroke number one is on the left side of the consonant. So up dot up bottom from the left side um, of the left side, and then you go. You make the box. You're starting to make the box. You're making the roof. Make the roof. Make the roof by one stroke going left, right, up, bottom. We've done this. Left, right, up, bottom. And then you close, you close the box by, by making a line, a stroke at the bottom. So let's try this together. Okay. So this is Chingu Oppa's writing and he has a very unique writing, which doesn't, it's not a typical handwriting, so I'll make it my handwriting a, a bit more not tilted and make it my handwriting, okay? So let's follow me, follow me. Okay, so let's go. Let's, it goes le from the left side. You go stroke one up bottom and then you make the second stroke, making the box like this and then you close the box like this. Why are you all crying? Why, why all the sad faces? Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? 
You guys scared me. Why? What's wrong? Why be sad emoticon? Why? <laughs> well, this app looks like it's in italic style. Well, it's it's like the celebrity's handwriting, the the K drama celebrity handwriting, Chingu Uppa, and there's Luna's handwriting, the FX member, Luna Luna's. <laughs> so one more time, one more time. You go left from the left, right, left side goes to up bottom, up bottom, and the next stroke is left bottom and you finish the box like this and the sound goes muh, 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 muh. and it has the muh, 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 m sound but if you um combine it with the vowel it will sound like a ma ma like this so like this and like this and vowel we have done it before up bottom left right and this ma if you combine the consonant and the vowel a it will sound like ma 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 so today we're just like learning uh the really tricky consonants to write on its own and the easy ones we're just going to do it with the consonant and vowel combined It's so confusing. You can do it. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You can do it. Why do you keep on mentioning Luna? Uh, it's just the handwriting is hers. So I'm just sh telling you that if you're offended, you don't have to care. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, maybe there are some Luna fans here in this class and maybe you guys are interested. Maybe you guys are not. Ma, ma. Ah, there's a other a lot of videos where I teach a lot of phrases and expressions. So if you're interested in expressions, go and see my recorded classes. Today we're just studying the uh, consonants and how to write it. Mu, mu, ma. Good. And one other thing that's really hard to write is this one. And we'll do a few more, one of the uh, hard ones, and then we'll finish the class, okay? Only a few more, which are hard to write. And the really a uh, hard one to write is this one. Pa. I'm only teaching you guys the tricky ones. Like the other ones, you can just like, uh, it's, it's really, um, uh, intu intuitive of how to write it. So today with me, we are just going to handle the tricky ones of how to write it. And this one, which has the sound, this one, which has the sound of, poo, poo, the boo, b, B, B sound. This is really, really tricky how to write. This is really tricky. So let's just finish. See, this is absolutely tricky. And I write this like very weird in my own way of writing. <laughs> I do a bad job at it too, but there is a correct way to do it. So let's try to learn how to correctly write it. So it's good to really know how to write it. So like in my case, like I just like go like this and like this, which is terrible. And you're not supposed to write it like this, but I just do like that on my convenience. But you're not supposed to do it like that. So how are you supposed to do it? Once again, I told you that every consonant or vowel that you write, you start from the left side. So once again, that you can see that it starts from the left side and then it continuously goes to the right side. So left. And then you make this the other other right to up bottom up bottom and then left left that's pretty easy right up bottom up bottom left right left right it's like a song up bottom up bottom left right left right and it has a sound of boo 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 Poo, poo. The written is easy, but pronounce it is so hard. It's poo, poo. The B sound, poo, 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 poo. So one more time, let's write it. So this is how to write it. Left, left side, up, bottom, up, bottom, left, right, left, right. So we'll try it one more time, and we'll go on and maybe do two more consonants, and we'll finish the class. Okay. 
up, bottom, up, bottom, left, right, left, right. So this is how you to write the consonant pu, consonant pu. Okay. And what other things that are tricky? Uh, maybe let's just do one more. One more, which is this one. T. This has a T sound. T. T. This has a T sound. And let's see how you write this. <coughs> so this is actually very odd because many of you might think that you just go like this and make it like a this, like a E. <laughs> but it looks like a E and it really, really, it really looks like a E. It really does look like a E, but you're not supposed to have, you're not really, the correct way is not this one. The way to do it is, as you can see over here, as you can see, as you can see, it's left to right on the very top, and then you make a continuous slope and make the form, the actual form, and then you put the middle line at the very last in the middle. So let's, I'll show you how it goes. You make the stroke left to right, and you make a continuous stroke to make the form, actual form of the consonant. And then lastly, you draw the line in the middle. And this has the sound t, t, t. One more time. T, t, t. And this has the t, t sound, and this is how it's written. One more time. Left, right, and one, in one stroke, you go like this. And then at the last stroke, you put a line in the middle. Like this. And this is how you write the E looking consonant too. And when this E looking consonant meets the vowel A, it goes something like this. Ta da. T, ta, and A. And combine it, has a sound of ta. Ta, ta. Ta, ta. Ta, ta. And this has a meaning of get on. Get on the car or get on the bus or get on the motorcycle. It has a meaning of ta, ta, ta. Get on, get on. So that's kind of funny. Ta, 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 ta. Ta. So this is like if you have a friend and you're in the car and you are like picking up your friend, like you just say, Hey you, ta ta ta. Hey Jenny, ta. It means uh get on the car, get on the motorcycle, or get on the bus, like on a vehicle, but on a vehicle or just like maybe on a bicycle. <laughs> get on. It means like get on. And yes, one more thing. No, no. Very intuitive. Other things is really just easy. Uh, the steps are really easy. Just go like this, this, and this. It's very intuitive. You just write it how it thinks it looks like. And this one, again, it looks difficult, but it's the same rule. The top one first, and then bottom, bottom, bottom. Puh. Ta, ta, get on, get on. So, you guys, that was that. So, I didn't do uh, every consonant and I didn't do every vowel, but I just really wanted to teach you some consonants that were bugging and uh, troubling some students of how to write it because a lot of you guys mentioned that, uh, oh, Jenny, it feels like I'm drawing Korean, not actually writing it. And I know you, I, I, I feel you, like, I understand what, what's happening. And so that's, this is why I made this writing class for me, for making it easier for you guys to actually properly how to know how to write the consonants. Consonants. One hour. Yeah, I guess, I guess it was writing class and we were actually like writing it on the phone and on the paper. So maybe it took a bit longer. In some instances, isn't it ta means go, go? Go is ka, ka. Go, go is ka. I, I taught you in the previous class, ka. Ka. I think you're confusing it with this one, ka. 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 Ka.
Hot means go, go away. So you guys, uh, I hope you guys liked it. This was like a writing class and this is, this was a new trial for me of using this application and I'm not sure if you guys liked it or not, but I hope I, it was useful for you guys to have a glimpse of how to write Korean. I, I just hope you guys, you have a good hint and glimpse of how to write correct Korean. I just wait for your Instagram post for me to review teacher. Okay, so yes, um, maybe I will uh, post the Instagram ID. My, my Instagram ID is kjennylee407, my birthday, and just come on to my Instagram ID, Instagram and follow me, and if there are some news about the class or my daily life, then I'll post something. And yes, thank you all for wishing me a good uh, getting better. Thank you. What is my teaching schedule? Can anybody respond to that question? I think you're new. I think you're a newbie. I have been teaching uh, Korean every Sunday, 10 p.m. Korean time. 10 p.m. Korean time, KST. So uh, the time and date does not change every Sunday, 10 p.m. Korean time. So check the time, uh, what time it is in your country. And I hope to see you back in next week. Can you tell me which app this is? Well, this app is called Tanbi, D-A-N-B-I, and the com it is pinned now. The comment is pinned down in the in the comments, right? You can see. You can see. And you guys, uh, for the last one, uh, I saw that there is um <clears throat> there is this one. There's this, uh, this page. So there was this, um, uh, page. And there was this page and, I don't know. I thought maybe you guys are interested in it. I don't know if you're not interested in this is like how to download and maybe get uh free stuff free um event page this was like the event page study Korean with six high stars this is how I got to know this um application this there's the event period of um April 9th to 11th so it's not opening yet but there's like this a lot of uh, K-pop stars and K-pop drama actresses like Jingu and Red Velvet Irene 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 I know her she's beautiful she's absolutely like a doll she's beautiful and Luna and Astro Chaunu and Han Jimin and Yoon Sanha and all these like um celebrities in Korea they are in the process of uh, making this application and this is how I got to know this application and I think it will be fun for you guys because you guys are interested in k-drama and like k-pop so if you're a fan of these stars and if you think that oh maybe give a shot of getting some free stuff uh the winner prize gets two events <clears throat> The, the winner prize gets two events. There's like a necklace and the Hangul writing books made by Hallyu Star's handwriting of Tanbi, English version. Oh, so this is pretty cool, I think. So if you like these actresses or K-pop stars and you want to get these like prize events for free, there is a way of how to participate in this event. Like download this app. Yeah. Like download this app and maybe just like try and make, have fun with it. <laughs> Have fun with it uh, and practice and practice absolutely practice 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 yes practice 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 so um download this app and practice the other consonants and the other vowels on your own and and capture it and tag me on Instagram and I'll go and really I will go and watch you practicing your consonants and your vowel writing hunger and I will actually really really go and comment you down and like I really want you to see you practicing Korean like writing it since this today was a writing class okay Hallyu is Hallyu the word Hallyu is like the Korean wave that is called Hallyu so it's not sponsored by Hallyu Hallyu is the word of Korean wave what? Irene is so much more beautiful. 
Yes, Hannah of Astro. Yeah, exactly. So, like, see, there are some fans. You can see my videos on Chu Talk Korean class page, and there's a, a lot of expressions. And yes, teacher, where can I watch my recorded videos? You can see on this page. If you go to the um, videos, there are all the other recorded videos. So you can. What was the link, teacher? Well, the link is uh, I wrote down on the description box, and I write the link on my Instagram ID. Okay, very nice. I'll write down the link on my Instagram ID. I practice because of K drama. My Instagram ID is K Jenny Lee four zero seven. No Dambi in Apple iPhone. I I couldn't find it. I think this is only for iOS Android. So. Yes, 감사합니다. So everybody um who are interested in K-pop, I I saw a fan who a fan of Sanha. So like download the app and maybe maybe uh, tell me if you get the event because I never ever have won a prize something. Your ID, my ID is K Jenny Lee four zero seven. K Jenny Lee four zero seven. This is really helping me with K drama and K pop songs. Oh, thank you. Well, check out my other videos because uh, in other videos it's not writing class, so there's a lot of expressions, like useful expressions for everyday life. So, I hope you guys had fun. I had a fun time writing and teaching how to write tanbi. So I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Download it and practice on your own. Like really, really practice on your own and capture it and show me and tag me on Instagram and I will go and find you and I will like press like. Okay, so thank you guys all. Thank you guys for uh finishing the class. It was Jenny. Bye you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you a lot. 감사합니다. 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 잘 자. 잘 자. 잘 자. 잘 자. 잘 자. 감사합니다. Bye guys. See you next week.